sneaker unboxing started try to get you guys some focus mode this is the air jordan one mid special edition orange black and white turf orange black and white i apologize guys most people are seeing these just pick these up i don't know if i'll ever wear this shoe because of the patent leather Again, I just got this shoe. You got tongue action. I don't know what's up with all these Jordan tongues recently. But I've been uh, pretty much Air Jordan 1 smitted out. Especially with these special editions. I don't know how many I bought within the last couple months. Maybe like 40, 50 pairs. They're pumping them out. This one is okay. I don't mind the colorway on here. Like I said, I don't know what's up with the tongue. All Jordan tongues have been coming pretty bad. But like I said, I like uh, this version. And they had a blue one that was in the exact same colorway as this one. But, like I said to me, this is a good uh, Jordan. I don't know if I'll ever wear it. Being as patent leather, some new type of patent leather. It's good. The quality is all good on the shoe. It's just, like I said, patent leather. Jordans are not for me. Let me give you guys a shot of the back. Another side view of the shoe. We'll get on to the next one, guys. Let's get on to shoe number two. All right, guys. Shoe number two. It's near and dear to my heart. This is the shoe that started me on sneaker collecting. Let me get you guys some box action. This is the Adidas Forum 84 High Blue Thread. It's an awesome shoe. I'm happy I was able to get one. Uh, Adidas, the only thing I can say about this shoe, whatever the process you guys did on it makes the shoe... Have a very chemical smell, but it's worth it. I'll just take this out the box because they wrap this sneaker in the greatest sneaker materials you'll ever see in the world. And she puts this box in a box to set it on for the guys. They wrap this, this shoe up in more tissue paper than any other shoe in the history of tissue paper. Get the tissue paper out of here without damaging it. Woo! This is a bad shoe, guys. I'm going to turn it around for you guys. Hope you can get good view. Shoe has outstanding quality to me. Like I said, those of you who heard me say it, they're beating uh, Jordan with the Adidas. Quality of the materials is absolute. Like I said, the only problem I have with this shoe is it has, this one stinks like chemical, like I said, because I think they have a process they're using to make the shoes. This awesome faded blue color has, must have made it a very, very stinky shoe. Like I said, it had to be high chemical. Very high chemical count. These tags out you guys with. Oh, this shoe is bad, guys. This was used to be my favorite shoes back in the day. This is a revamp of the original. So, like I said, I had to get it because this was the shoe that started me. I didn't think these were going to sell out as fast as they did. I went back to get another pair and it was finished. But as long as I got this pair, I'm not trying to be greedy. Greedy got all the pairs up. But if you haven't found the joys of the forums, the Adidas forums, you uh, guys got to go pick up some of this. This was the original Hype Beast shoe for Jordans, for Air Forces. You either rock the shell toes 
or if you were hardcore street kid, you you rock the forums, man. If you was able to go home without getting your forums taken, you were the man. All right, guys, we're gonna get on to the third shoe. All right, guys, we're back with the third shoe. Let me get you a little bit of box action. Get it in there and let it focus. Hope it focuses. I'm trying to wait for it to focus. This one doesn't want to focus. Even my camera is, is tied to these. These are the Air Jordan 1 Mid Black Hyper Royal and White. Or the Mid Hyper Royals. She was on sale. Oh, come on, guys. Take, taking it out of the box. I put some coffee on my shoe when they was putting it in the box or something. Hope you guys can see that, but you see it's fresh out the box. Let me get a uh, homeboy, oh zombie Mysterio up here. This is a sought after shoe. A lot of people uh, didn't get a chance to get the highs in this variation, so I'm guessing that's why they're buying the lows. Or the mids, rather, I apologize. I've been. Trying to ride with the mid-wave with Nike. But they're putting out too many. They're not giving us good colorways. I don't know where the Jordan highs are. Did I get a pair? I got a couple pairs this, this, this year so far. I even got a chance to get my hands on some trophy rooms yesterday. So I'm happy about those. I'm going to uh, probably have those on next. Guys, some bottom action for this as well. I'm going to try to find out how do I get my blue laces. These were a gift for my birthday, the trophy rooms. First said they're going to get me the blue laces anyway. Because they know that theirs are official. And these were gifted to them directly. Not any of the stolen. You got some more bottom action. I'm going to tell you about the shoe. i show you the back. It's nothing special on the back. This shoe seems to be a very high quality material. Everything seems to be clean. Lace is great. Everything, all except for like the one coffee stain that I was telling you about on here or whatever. But I get that off, so that's not a biggie. But definitely, guys, I'll give you guys a side profile. This is a beautiful Jordan. All right, guys, we're going to keep on going through the collection. Keep building the channel. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. It's free to you and really helps out the channel. Let me know what shoes you guys want to see next. We're just going to keep on rolling, keep unboxing these shoes, and hopefully someday we'll get to the end. You guys, take it easy and make sure you have a nice day. Everybody fucking jump.